Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Demushenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set to 2.6 and problem number 2.98. Find the tension S induced in the string C, D, E attached to the points C and E of the right angled bar A, B, C of weight P supported as shown in the figure. Assume perfectly flexible string, frictionless pulley and an ideal hinge at A. That means there is a right angled prismatic bar A, B, C and a string is attached at C and E which is passes over the pulley. Now because of the weight P which is pulling down, how much is the tensile force developed in the string that is our A. Now since C, D, E is only one string. Throughout the string, I can able to find only one force that is let force is yes. That means here I can find the force yes and here also I can find the force yes by considering the free body diagram of A, B, C alone. So before proceeding to that, let us try to find the angles made by the string with the horizontal. Okay, this is the string force yes as we did and this is the string force yes by considering the free body diagram of the ABC only. Now there is another force P is also acting. This is the self weight. Now in order to proceed, let theta is the angle made by this string uh, with the horizontal and let alpha is the angle made by this string with the alpha. By considering a small right angle triangle here, this right angle triangle, and also by considering this right angle triangle, I can find the values of alpha and theta. First, let us discuss the theta value. Now tan theta, I can use tan theta. Tan theta is equal to 2a by a and theta is equal to 63.43. Similarly, by construct a small triangle here. Here, this distance is equal to 3a. And this distance is equal to 2a minus a that is a. Hence you can say tan alpha is equal to opposite side a divided by the adjacent side 3a which gives the value of 18.43. So if we consider the free body diagram of the truss uh, of the right angled abc only. So here I can find a force p that is similar to this. Here I can find the force s yes, similar to this. And here I can find the force S yes, similar to this. So this makes an angle theta and this makes an angle alpha. Now this S yes, I can dissolve into two components. This S also I can dissolve into two components. So after resolving this S, yes, I can find this horizontal component is S cos theta, vertical component is S sin, sin theta. Similarly, this S yes, also I can dissolve that is S cos alpha and S sin alpha. Now I will take the moments about point A. So if you take the moments about point A, the reactions developed at A will also not to be considered. S cos theta will also passing through this. This also will not introduce any moment. So S sin theta and S sin alpha, only these two will introduce the moments along with P. So S sin theta will introduce a moment in the counterclockwise. S sin alpha will introduce a moment counterclockwise and P will introduce a moment in the clockwise. And coming to distances, S sin theta line of action is at a distance of small a and P line of action is at a distance of 1.5 a. So this distance is also known. And this S sin alpha is at a distance of 3 a. And S cos alpha, okay. S cos alpha is at a distance of the line, line of action of this S cos alpha is at a distance of a. So you know all the distances and hence you can take the moments. So by taking the moments, you can see, yes, sine 63.43 because theta value is 63.43. Sine 63.43 will introduce a moment in the counterclockwise direction and the distance is A. So yes, sine 63.43 into A. And then yes, cos alpha. This also introduce a moment in the clock, counterclockwise direction and the line of action of yes, cos alpha is at a distance of A. Hence, I can say S yes into cos alpha value is 18.43. S yes, cos 18.43 into the distance A. 
and then yes sign alpha this also will introduce a moment in the counter clockwise direction alpha value is 18.43 yes sign uh, 18.43 into the line of action makes at a distance of 3a and yes sign 18.43 into 3a is equal to the force p into the perpendicular distance 1.5a so we can simplify this the only unknown is yes so straight away you can calculate yes in terms of p so after simplification you will get 2.79 yes is equal to 1.5p or yes is equal to 0.538p is the answer for the given problem.